do a live show. Yes, right. Thank you. <clears throat> Very good evening, uh, dear students. Today we are going to discuss uh, the second unit of this syllabus, that is the money. Uh, in this unit, uh, we are going to discuss about what is the concept of money, right? And what is money and uh, functions of money, quantity theory of money, and determination of the money supply and uh, money demand, and what is the credit creation, and what are the tools to can use in the, the monetary policy, right? So these are the very important topic which we are going to discuss today's class. So in the previous unit, uh, we studied that fundamentals of the macroeconomic concept, right? So this is also one macroeconomic variable to influence the entire economy. That's why we need to discuss more on details on these uh, topics. So in this case, the referred book is Man Q book. So chapter four, right? Uh, uh, this is the chapter four, money and inflation, money concept which we are uh, discussing, right? So and here we are discussing about what is the money and after that we are going to functions of money. So this is the Manpu book uh, according to the Delhi University syllabus. So same uh, if you refer this book, the same as I have to uh, share one uh, uh, material in the, in the same syllabus. So this is the one. OK, so now uh, we are go going to discuss that the basic concept of what is the money. Dear students, we are day to day life to met this concept in newspaper, day to day social media, right? Money, money, money. Right? What is the money? General term, you can say that when we have that a person, you know, say that that a person have a lot of money. So we usually mean that he is and she is very wealthy. By contrast, economists use the term money is the more specialized way. Nowadays, we all are people who look into that. Money means some people have healthy, a lot of money that people have healthy and more uh, uh, benefits they can get. But in economic terms, we are using different way. Right, economic terms. Money does that refers to all wealth, but only to one type of it. That is, you can call money for exchange for goods and services. So, what is the money definition? Now you can discuss. Money is anything generally accepted by the society as a medium of exchange. So, each and every money is called as a wealthy or is accepted by any person or the society. No. Money generally anything can accept by the society medium of action. Suppose there is a money, we cannot accept it that means. But earlier we are using different point, different types of money, like uh, silver coin, gold and uh, and different different uh, uh, coins which we are using before the independence period. So now we cannot accept it to exchange for goods and services. What is the exchange for goods and services? We have to give into money to purchasing some goods and services. If the market, the producer has to accept your money, then only you can say that is the money whatever you are given. If they couldn't accept it, that means that is not legally produced, legally accepted by the anyone. So suppose example, coins and rupee notes, which we are widely accepted by the society, means of settle transactions, thus from the part of money supply. What is the money supply word we are using here? Money supply means the availability of the money in the economy in terms of coins, currency, e-currency, e whatever you are using in terms of the exchange for goods and services. Even sometimes you can use the travel checks, checks, ATM parts, right? And uh, some kind of uh, uh, e payments, e transactions, yeah. each and everything is other person must have to accept what we are given. Then, then only you can say that money is accepted by the society. Okay. So, what are the definitions which we are discussing according to different, different authors? So, suppose there is some others has to define what is the money is, right? So, here according to Walker, money is what money does. Okay. That means money is. What money does, whatever it is useful that you can call money. Useful means you can transaction for one person to one good to another good. You can transact to one to another. That is, you can say money. What is money does? Next, according to Crowther, defined that money can be defined as anything that is generally accepted as a means of exchange and at the same time as act measure as a store of value. So here, according to Crowther, if there is a money, they must have two role to play two role. One is they must have to accept it as a means of exchange. Another one at the same time, the measure of store of value. That means money can be exchanged for goods and services. Whatever you have purchased, you must have to accept it. Then that must be storage. Storage means sometime for the future purposes, you have to keep our money on the basis of cash or on the basis of deposits, on the basis of check, on the basis of and different, different. That is the store of value. 
future purpose, future transaction, future suppose example uh, uh, in the COVID-19, during the COVID-19, all people are searching for money because all all transactions were soft, but uh, we don't have that much storage money in our hand. Sometimes we can't go outside. So at that time we can face the problem. That is emergency. In the future purposes, emergency purposes also, we have to keep money that is storage. So money is role to play exchange for goods and services as well as the store of value. Right, according to Prouder. Next coming to Robertson has to describe that money is as anything that is acceptable in discharge of obligation. Okay, what is the money? Money is anything can be acceptable. Suppose you want to purchase one good, specific good, they must have to accept it according to your price. According to that price, <laughs> you must have to give it whatever the price is. Okay, no one can reject your money if it is exactly whatever you write that price. So that is acceptable. Anything that can be acceptable is a discharge of obligations. No one can reject your money if it is a legal money. There are type, different types of money we are discussing later. Okay, so this is some definition. There are lots of definition, but more important definitions which we are discussing here. So according to these definitions, what we are understand, money can be accepted in the society. It can be accepted by means of exchange, store of value, and the accept when a discharge of the obligations. Okay, dear students, we understand that what is the money and different types of money we are discussing. Now we are going to discuss about what are the functions of the money. You now have an overview of what money is. Recognize that distinction among money, income, wealth. We now examine four roles of the functions in the economy. That is different functions in the economy. Okay, the first function is the medium of exchange. Medium of exchange. Exchange you can understand. You can uh, exchange for one to one good or service or whatever. So first function is the use of money in an economy as a medium of exchange. That is primary function. That means goods, services, financial assets, extra, so so on, are all paid by by using money only. Whether whatever you are using, either to purchase the goods, either purchasing services, financial asset, whatever it is, that is used by money only. Okay. In the initial stage, we are using barter system. In the barter system, we are exchange goods for another goods, one goods to another goods, and service to another service. That is you can call as without intermediary money to another way of making transactions. However, there exist two problems within that barter system. We are talking about before independent period, there is no money, whatever you are using at, at, at present. At the time, only the way that is the barter system, they exchange for one good to another good. Suppose we are you people are suppose you are one person, I am the one person. I have one good sir. I, I, I prepared myself. There is a butter. Okay, you prepared oneself, you prepared one bread. Okay. I want to that bread. You want to my butter. I want to exchange for one to one. So you exchange me as a burger, uh, bur uh, butter. You, I exchange you uh, right bread. So we exchange both of us. That is the only way you can transaction one by one at that time. Butter system. No, each and everything is day by day. We are uh, uh, developed. So we are using as a different different money. Okay, you can discuss one by one. So barter system. Uh, in that barter system, there are two problems which we are identified. What is the problem? The double coin set of the wants each party involved in the transaction that suppose that means only we are one good exchange one you bread exchange and my water exchange but there is a double consideration wants you will also keep it your transaction that i am transaction one i am also keep it my transaction i want i am taking one transaction so the, the, there is a double accounting there is a problem with national income accounting you can see so each party involved the transaction must have something other desires so that's why that is not in that way to to, to realize that what transaction were taking place Okay, after the transaction cost, the barter is highly inefficient because parties involved will have to spend considerable time searching for others. We have willing to accept the good. One is trying to sell as payment for something that we want to sell. So, what did we discuss? Money, we have to buy it. We have to accept 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 it. ठीक है एक पहले वर्क फंक्शन है कैसे हम लोग ट्रांजेक्शन करते हैं आपस में आप आपके पास एक गुड होता है मेरे पास एक गुड होता है अब हम कैसे ट्रांजेक्शन करते हैं पिछले टाइम में वो बोलते हैं बाटर सिस्टम उस टाइम बाटर सिस्टम में क्या होता है ये गुड गुड टू गुड एक्सचेंज कर सकते हैं सर्विस टू सर्विस एक्सचेंज कर सकते हैं बट डे बाई डे हम लोग मनी एज ए ट्रांजेक्शन और मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मनी वी आर यूजिंग सो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन दिस टाइम ठीक है बट सो अभी हम लोग ट्रांजेक्शन कास्ट बढ़ जाएगी कब हम लोगों ने गुड्स एंड सर्विस एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट मतलब ट्रांजेक्शन करता रहता है उस टाइम रेट्स बढ़ जाएगी ट्रांजेक्शन कास्ट ट्रांजेक्शन कास्ट मतलब वन गुड टू अनदर गुड हम लोग 
राइट ट्रांसपोर्ट और ट्रांजेक्शन करने टाइम में कॉस्ट बढ़ जाएगी इसलिए हम लोग ऑल्टरनेटिवली हम लोग यूज किया करेंसी ऐसे और मनी ऐसे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स एंड डिफरेंट सिल्वर पॉइंट गोल्ड कैंड वो वाला हम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं ये वाला बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस का हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं ठीक है सो सो दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट वी आर ट्रांजेक्शन वर टेकिंग प्लेस दैट वेरी हाईली एक्सपेंसिव and uh, that as uh, both parties are involved we will have to spend considerable time searching for others we have willing to accept the good one is trying to another payment okay cost of earning making exchange and after that monetary economics monetary economics matlab kya hota hai after some years the modern days that is the uh, modern economics can say the economics use the money as a medium of exchange to capable of solving both of our problems because you now a person can be simply exchange goods he produce for money then use this by what you want to try okay so that is medium of exchange means whatever the money that must have to accept it on the basis of exchange for one go to another go okay second function is unit of account what is the unit unit of account so generally the value of all goods and services can be started in terms of money only generally medium of exchange is virtually common in all transaction that is common to all of us the use of money reduce the amount of information that individual need to operate the market suppose if you have the money sometimes you can purchase we don't know how, what you purchase but that money is transacts one by one we don't have any record we don't have any kind of information but we are using the money so much of money coins papers whatever it is so there is a one function money sometimes you can use unit of account unit of account means right there would be more prices than good, goods in the economy unit of account means at present we are using uh, reduce the price information reduce that reduce the transaction cost as you said exchange so that we unit of account means you can calculate it one rupee is one good okay so what is the price of the particular good and according to how many goods which we have purchased uh, that you can say value unit of account means the value of the particular good if you purchase one tv suppose you know with that what tv value is 50000 52000 or 22000 the unit the price of the particular good that is unit of account one good is that much amount of the money that is the unit of account so the money is role to play as a unit of account it shows that each and every price that much good that much how uh, each and every good that much price that we what we are discussing okay so that means money is sometimes using as a unit of account next store of value this already we discussed so money is means of storing today's purchasing power purchasing power means whatever you are purchasing goods and services that power will be purchasing power will be if you have the money that means you have the power if you have more money you purchase more goods that is the purchasing power that is the point you don't have money there is no power if you have the money that is the power आपका पास पैसा नहीं है तो क्या बोलते हैं हमारे पास पावर नहीं पैसा है पावर है सो so, पावर मतलब खरीद करने की हमारे पास है पैसा वही पावर बोलते हैं क्या खरीद करने की कोई भी गुड्स एंड सर्व हम खरीद करते हैं वो हमारे पास पैसा होना ही चाहिए कैसा होता है हमारे पास कितना हम लोग हम लोग सोर्सेस में आया और सैलरी है और कुछ काम किया वो लेबर किया सर्विस किया कुछ लेबर वेजेस मिल गया वो सारा अमाउंट हमारे पास होता है वो कुछ अमाउंट हम लोग कंज्यूम करेंगे कुछ अमाउंट हमारे पास सेव करता है वो सेव दैट इज शोर ऑफ वैल्यू से मतलब शोर करते हैं हम आगे दिन में कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है देखो आजकल वो कोरोना टाइम में इतना परेशान हुआ सब लोग के पास पैसा नहीं था लेकिन प्राइजेस बढ़ बढ़ा था बहुत ज़्यादा ऑनियन था एक किलो वाला आ, अभी तीस चालीस मिल रहा लेकिन उस टाइम एक सौ दो सौ तक भी गई थी ईच एंड एवरी मेडिसिन मेडिसिन आप देखें एक लाख में भी गई थी उस टाइम करोना टाइम में तो क्यों सबके पास इतना पैसा नहीं था दूसरा अवेलेबिलिटी नहीं था गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज अगर आपके पास पैसा लेकिन उसमें अवेलेबल नहीं था उसको गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज ठीक है पैसा भी जरूर है वो पैसा परचेजिंग पावर भी जरूर है हम कब परचेज करते हैं ज़्यादा ज़्यादा हमारे पास इतना मनी है वो मनी के हिसाब से हम लोग परचेज करते हैं वो ये परचेजिंग पावर बोलते हैं ठीक है बेटा सो इन द एबसेंस ऑफ मनी द गुड्स विल हैव टू स्टोर एंड रेड फ्यूचर परपजेस मे बी देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द मनी विच वी आर कॉल विच वी आर स्टोर for the purpose of according to kings and according to different economists as to we are using the money on different different basis actually we discuss uh, money supply money demand concept okay and fourth now coming to another important function fourth function standard for deferred payment this is the last uh, most important uh, function of the money okay so money is money is used to stay payments that are deferred to the future in the absence of money future payments would have to made in terms of the other good standard of the deferred payment it means standard of payment is the medium of exchange the unit of account makes easier to determine the exactly how which deferred payment will be okay many however it is not best standard of all purposes so this is means the standard of deferred payment this is a kind of balance of payment or you can say statement of the record whatever you purchase what you want to purchase in future and all 
sender of the fraud payment. That's why money has a role to play on transaction. Uh, you can say that uh, payments of uh, record, record. You can say sender of record payment payment. The record of the payments were taking place, future, present, and whatever. Okay. So this is. It. So once we need to understand that what is the functions of money, and now we are going to discuss what is the origin of the fund, origin of the money. Origin means when it is sorted the money. Money is the concept. Okay. Suppose the religious object to value using the medium of exchange first. That is the barter system. And after that, monetary account. Monetary economy in terms of the medium of exchange. Gold is the medium of exchange. Gold, silver, at that time, different different coins which we are using. And after that, uh, paper currency. Now. e currency we are using here e currency also we are using nowadays okay so in the uh, religious object of the use of money first is commodity money what is the commodity money that is the barter system we are using commodity money is one go to another go okay so any physical commodity that is used money but in same time alternate to non monetary use called commodity money commodity money means used money but at the same time has alternate to non monetary use this in the call commodity money and that is you can call it gold silver coins and so 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 on So generally, commodity money can be there are two types of commodity money. That means whenever you are using the coins, coins money, na the silver coin, gold coin, there are two types of coins, commodity money. One is full bodied money, another one is representative full bodied money. What is the full bodied money? When commodity itself circulates as money, it is known as full bodied money. That means monetary value is equal to non-monetary value of full bodied money. Non-monetary, right? When the commodity itself circulated, that means This is a legal money. This is given by the the government. It is represented by the RBA. Next one, that is full-bodied money. And represented full-bodied money, that means when the paper money that represents a claim that specific quantity of some commodity has been placed. So that non-monetary value actual. Uh, uh, some non-monetary money means checks and uh, bonds, securities, some other other source of paper. That is the full-bodied money. Okay. Next, faith money. What is the faith money? Anything that is money legally tendered, unbacked any commodity, unbacked paper money. Right, so that uh, token coins and all token coins means whatever you are giving any kind of tokens as a currency, right? So that is the faith money. Got it? So this is uh, how the quantity of money is coined. So this is the different types of you know uh, um, origin of the money. So now we are say that e-currency money. I couldn't written here. E-currency also we are using as a money, as a money, money as a medium of exchange for a value and so on. Right? So what is the supply of money actually after this origin of the money we need to discuss that measures of money after that we are discussing that remaining concept measures means how you can measure the different different money supply okay so we are talking about money supply and money demand actually here okay so what is the quantity of money and what is the quantity of supply now you can discuss what is the quantity of supply supply money means the quantity of money available in the economy called money supply money supply supply of money both are equal okay So money supply means supply. Supply means available. What money is available in the economy? That is called quantity supply. So quantity means the total currency, number of the currency is available in the economy. That is called money supply. In a system of commodity, money supply is simply quantity of that commodity. In an economy that uses fiat money, fiat money such as most economies today, the government controls the supply of money. So what the government control? The government who is the control by supply of money? RBI particularly. Government, the central government, or Reserve Bank of India has to control the supply of money. Why the central bank control the money? Because, because in an economy, if the prices is increasing in the economy, okay, more prices, the people are less demand of the goods and services. If people less demand of the goods and services, there is no demand, right? Supply automatically declines. There is no supply of goods and services. If there is no supply of goods and services, the farm sector, the producer, cannot produce more, and that cannot hear the goods and Factors of production. If there is no factors of production taking place, there is unemployment will taking place in household sector, right? There is no household sector employment, so there is no money. Then they will going to poverty. That's why immediately the central bank has to take the control to supply of money. More less supply of money, the people less purchasing power, so demand is increasing. Okay, so then uh, the prices will declining, so that people demand more and supply will automatically increase. So there are two types of policies used by the government. One is the monetary policy. And the other one is the fiscal policy. We discuss somewhere in the fiscal uh, some concept. So monetary policy, the policy supply of money by the government. Okay, control the supply of money. Fiscal policy, the policy the government expenditure revenue policy that we will discuss detail later. Okay. So here we are discussing money supply. Who control government of India? That is RBI. What is the demand quantity of money? 
so quantity of money is also called demand for money so one of the our goal is determine how the money supply affect the economy turn into the topic in next chapter to background that so the most obvious point of money is currency currency and uh, uh, what is the currency the sum of the outstanding paper money and coins that is you can call currency right most day to day transaction as currency as a medium of exchange you know very well so the second type of asset that is called demand deposits demand deposit what the funds people hold in their checking account checking accounts mean fixed deposit term deposit recovery deposit different different deposits which are taking place in all the government sector institution as well as the post office and different sources so what is the demand demand for money demand for money is the total demand for the money in the economy that means you demand 1 lakh i was demand 5 lakh some other people has to demand maybe 50000 this what the people has to demand for money for what purpose different different other has to de deposit different means has to deposit that people demand for money on the basis of transaction purpose recursion purpose speculative purpose classical economies the demand for money is on the basis of purchasing power increase okay so demand for money means the people quantity of the demand for the money that is you can call demand for money now it is clear dear students supply of money demand for money these both two factors to influence the, the entire the economy what how it is a supply of money that means availability of the currency in the economy demand for money how much amount people has to demand for money if supply demand both together there is a mar money monetary market equal to that like ma like microeconomics like uh, uh, aggregate demand aggregate supply equal to that same also here money supply money demand equal one particular place that is the money monetary market equal to that okay so that means these two factors to influence the entire the monetary economy that what we are discussing so what is the money supply is available in the economy so supply means availability of the currency how what are the sources and what is the components of the supply of money so these are the components or the measures of the money supply okay when it is described this is described on 1977 on april so you can measure the supply of money on the basis of right different different components who rba has to present it okay so april 1977 the following the recommendation of its second working group of the rb second working group of rba right so has to present it the four methods of money supply there are defined below decreasing order and the other liquidity there are four what is that m1 m2 m3 and m4 what are the these measurements okay dear students the measures of money supply are first one is m1 this is descending order okay lowest to highest okay so m1 is currency currency means coins and all with the public currency held with the public actually with held with the public here i think uh, held with the public currency with the public that is held with the public you have to keep it ourselves actually some money whatever you are keep it your money on the basis of right uh, whatever it is okay held with the public hamara paas hota hai aapke paas hota hai aapko papa ki kuch rakhta hai aap bhi kuch rakhta hai for future purposes ke liye sara itna hai aapka family members ki itna currency hai aur total population ki itna currency inke hath mein hai wohi hai currency held with public hota hai demand deposit demand deposit kya hota hai ye demand deposit means the deposit which we are withdraw on the demand for you whatever whenever you are want to withdraw on the basis of the demand you can withdraw it that is fixed deposit recurring deposit term deposit different different deposits with banks and other post office and all okay so here demand deposit means different different deposits were taking place next other deposit with rba what is this other deposit the rba also keep there some liquidity assets liquidity assets means some currency other deposits deposit like uh, you can say that slr crr okay repo or whatever so this is all of the different different sources that whatever it is available in the rba keep it keep it that that is also considered in m1 money okay so now m1 is equals to currency held with public plus demand deposit plus other deposits with rba either there is no saving post office and all okay simple currency with the public demand deposit other deposit with the rba that is the m1 coming to next one is m2 m2 is equal to whatever currency demand deposit other deposit with rba plus saving deposit with post office saving banks nowadays post offices as to you know announce the different uh, schemes actually okay fixed deposit term deposit life insurance mic minimum investment scheme different different uh, deposits what is that purpose the post office banks has to mobilize the savings why is there mobilize the savings they are giving the interest rate to the public because more saving to mobilize of the saving to the public 
the more saving more investment more investment more production will taking place more production will taking place more income generated more income generated the growth is happening taking place. the growth is happening in the country so that's why the banks and post office they mobilize the savings they give the some kind of interest rates so whatever it is available saving deposits with currency demand deposit other deposits are be that is m2 so m2 me एक एडिशनली ऐड हुआ दैट इज सेविंग डिपॉजिट विद पोस्ट ऑफिस सेविंग बैंक्स ठीक है बेटा सो अभी तक क्या हुआ पब्लिक के पास हमारा पास इतना पैसा है सारा पॉपुलेशन की नेशनल इनकम एंड डिमॉन्ड डिपॉजिट्स होता है कोई भी फिक्स डिपॉजिट एम डी वॉट एवरेट ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन है डिपॉजिट है आपके भी है कुछ फिक्स डिपॉजिट होगा कुछ दूसरा मे बी आपका स्टूडेंट्स है तो पता नहीं चल पाता लेकिन आपका पापा मामा कुछ ना कुछ डिपॉजिट करता है क्योंकि फ्यूचर पर्पस के लिए बच्चा की पढ़ाने के लिए और दूसरे पर्पस के लिए मे बी हेल्थ के लिए नोवे डेज ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा रखना पड़ता है हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन के लिए मे बी डिपॉजिट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द टर्म डिपॉजिट इट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डिपॉजिट सो दैट इज आर बी ए विद एंड पोस्ट ऑफ नॉट आउट पोस्ट ऑफिस बैंक एंड अदर कोऑपरेटिव बैंक वॉट एवर इट इज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सोर्सेज अलॉन्ग विद सेविंग डिपॉजिट एंड पोस्ट ऑफ सेविंग दट इज एम टू वॉट इट एम वन क्लियर है एम टू क्लियर है समझे सो एम वन एम टू सबको बताए पोस्ट ऑफिस में भी होता है बैंक में भी होता है हमारे पास भी कुछ पैसा हम हमारे पास स्टोरेज करता है ये सारे एम वन एम टू एम टू में सिर्फ डिफरेंस है कि सेविंग डिपॉजिट पोस्ट ऑफिस सेविंग बैंक की थोड़ा सा ऐड किया हम ठीक है अभी आ जाओ एम वन क्लियर है एम टू क्लियर है अभी हम लोग डिस्कस कर रहे हैं एम थ्री एम थ्री क्या होता है एलॉन्ग विथ एम टू एम टू मीन्स एम वन प्लस सेविंग डिपॉजिट विथ पोस्ट ऑफिस बैंक प्लस टाइम डिपॉजिट देखो ये टाइम डिपॉजिट क्या होता है टाइम डिपॉजिट होता है कि हमारा पास कुछ भी पैसा है हम फिक्स करता है वन ईयर के लिए थ्री ईयर के लिए और फाइव ईयर के लिए टर्म डिपॉजिट टाइम डिपॉजिट होता है अगर वन ईयर के लिए इंटरेस्ट कितना ही है और थ्री ईयर के लिए इंटरेस्ट इतना ही है अगर आपको कुछ कुछ डिपॉजिट में डालने की कोशिश करते हैं तो मिनिमम लॉकिंग पीरियड होता है थ्री ईयर्स होता है ठीक है वो टाइम डिपॉजिट भी इंक्लूडिंग होता है एम थ्री में सो धीरे धीरे हम लोग समझाए कि एम वन की एड हुआ सेविंग डिपॉजिट दैट एम टू हो गया एम टू की एड करके टाइम डिपॉजिट एम थ्री हो गया धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहे हैं ना सप्लाई ऑफ मनी ये सारा के सारा सर कॉम्पोनेंट्स बोलते हैं हम ये सारा कॉम्पोनेंट्स में हम लोग मनी सप्लाई बोलते हैं मनी सप्लाई अभी चार मनी सप्लाई है ठीक है सो एम फ्रो एम फोर क्या होता है एम थ्री प्लस ऑल डिपॉजिट पोस्ट ऑफिस सेविंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एयरलियर ऑल डिपॉजिट में पोस्ट सेविंग डिपॉजिट में सेविंग डिपॉजिट विथ पोस्ट ऑफिस सेविंग बैंक दैट इज सेविंग डिपॉजिट में ओनली सो हियर ऑल डिपॉजिट विथ पोस्ट ऑफिस सेविंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एम फोर सो ये चार में एम वन एम टू एम वन एम फोर में थोड़ा डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बोलते हैं हम एम वन क्या बोलते हैं एम फोर क्या बोलते हैं एम वन बोलते हैं नैरो में नहीं बोलते नैरो में नहीं थोड़ा का कम है मतलब इनका कॉम्पोनेंट कम है लिक्विडिटी कम है एम फोर बोलते हैं ब्रॉड मैन एम फोर इज अल ब्रॉड मैन ब्रॉड मैन इज यू कैन नॉट अलाउबरेट ऑल द कॉम्पोनेट्स यू कैन इंक्लूड ऑल द कॉम्पोनेट लाइक करेंसी डिमांड प्रोजेक्ट टाइम भी प्रोजेक्ट है पोस्ट ऑफ सेविंग बैंक ऑल ऑल इंक्लूडिंग दैट्स वाई ये ब्रॉडर बोलते हैं ब्रॉडर ब्रॉड मैन ओके दैट इज अप टू नाइनटीन आई थिंक नाइनटी एट तक ये एम फोर एम वन एम टू एम थ्री एम फोर एज ए मनी सप्लाई बोलते हैं सो so, हम वो आर बी आई डिस्कस किया अप्रैल नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन में ये चार मनी सप्लाई का मनी सप्लाई कॉम्पनी से लेकिन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट में एक अनदर वर्किंग ग्रुप टू एनालाइज दैट यू नो दैट इज चाइमैन ऑफ वाई वी रेडी ओके वाई वी रेडी हैज टू डिस्क्राइब नॉट ओनली दिस फोर बट ऑल्सो अदर लिक्विड एसेट्स ऑल्सो वी कैन फॉल एज ए राइट मनी सप्लाई वॉट इज दैट मनी सप्लाई न्यू मॉनिटरी और लिक्विडिटी एग्रीगेट मॉनिटरी एंड लिक्विडिटी एग्रीगेट्स दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर अवेलेबल इन द करेंसी इन द एकॉनमी सो नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट के बाद मनी सप्लाई कॉम्पोनेट्स नॉट ओनली एम वन एम टू एम फोर बट ऑल्सो एन एम जीरो एन एम वन एन एम टू एन एम थ्री एल वन एल टू एल थ्री ओके एन एम जीरो एन एम वन एन एम टू एन एम थ्री एल वन एल टू एल थ्री तो ये सारे के सारा मेजर मेजर सब द मनी सप्लाई है आप टू नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट एम वन एम टू एम थ्री एम फोर इधर मनी सप्लाई कॉम्पोनेंट आफ्टर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट आर पी वर्किंग ग्रुप अगेन देर इज अदर कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑल्सो वी आर इंट्रोड्यूस ओके वॉट आर द न्यू मॉनिटरी मेजर ऑफ द मनी सप्लाई आर लिक्विड एसेट्स दैट इज एन एम जीरो सो एन एम जीरो ऑल्सो यू कैन कॉल दिस मॉनिटरी बेस आई होप इट इज विजिबल राइट सो मॉनिटरी बेस क्या होता है करेंसी इन सर्कुलेशन करेंसी सर्कुलेशन में वट एवर द मनी इज अवेलेबल इन द इकोनॉमी इज सर्कुलेटेड दैट प्लस बैंकर्स डिपॉजिट विथ आर बी आई बैंकर्स डिपॉजिट विथ आर बी आई 
right? SLR, standard liquid ratio, the rate at which the banker has to keep some deposit with the RBI. Other deposit with the RBI, other deposit I know very well. You know very well. That is NM0. Got it? NM0, other monetary supply, other mother of the supply is currency in circulation, bankers deposit with the RBI, other deposit with the RBI. Okay, better. Dosra wala defined kiya money supply as one component. Wo ki NM1. NM1 kya the? Public ke pas itna paisa hai, wo bhi currency with the public. And demand deposit with banking system. Demand deposit with the banking system. Ye bank khud hi kuch deposit rakhta hai per transaction purpose ke liye. Ye CRR bolte hain. Gas reserve ratio. According to the RBI guideline 1934, the bank has to keep some keep some reserves or deposits in the demand deposit. According to the RBI. That is plus other deposit with the RBI. Okay, NM1. Next, NM2. NM2 means total so NM1 plus short term short term time deposits of the residents, including up to the contractual majority of one year. If short term deposits are one year, one year was short term deposits. Itna amlo courses karte hai, one year was short term deposits. Suppose example, you are the one salary person, we have to receive some money from the sources. So we need to maybe in future there is a need to, to can purchase something so that you can keep one one year's term bound deposit. There is a short term deposit you can say. After one year, we have to withdraw that. This is also one part of the deposits, deposits actually. Okay. So NM2 may NM1, NM1 may currency with the public, demand deposits with the banking system, other deposits with the RBA, plus short term time deposits of the residents, and time liability portion of the saving deposit and certificate of deposits. Here three including both short term, short term time deposits of the residents, time liability portion of the saving deposit, certificate of the deposits. So keep it in your mind. This is you can somewhere you have to write it here, student. You forget it actually. M1, M2, M3, up to yaad hota. Lekin ye nayi nayi monetary components hai na, kya bhi confuse ho jata hai. Kya bhi confuse hum lekin ab kya bolenge? Theek hai, beta. So NM component hai, NM2, NM1 plus short term time deposit and time liability of the portion of saving deposit plus certificate of deposits. Theek hai, beta. Next hai, NM3. NM3 kya bolte hai? NM2 plus. Pehle NM1 short term bola hai. Here NM2 mein. Abhi NM3 mein NM2 plus that means short term time deposit, liability and certificate of deposit plus long term term deposits, long term time deposits of the residents, maturity of one year, plus call term funding from financial institutions, call borrowing from non depository financial corporations. Okay, ye M3, M1, M3 ho gaya, NM1, NM2, NM3. One by one add karke short term, long term karke sab kuch ho gaya. Ye sara mila ke M3 means NM1, NM2, NM3 plus. All deposits with the post office saving. Here post office saving certificate included. Post office saving bank certificate included. Karne ki wajah se NM3 ki L L1 ho gaya. L1 means liquidity one. L means liquidity one. Okay. So L1 plus term deposit with term lending institution, refining institution, term borrowing by financial institution, certificate of deposit issued by the financial institution. Right? FIS. Okay. Term borrowing by financial institution. Certificates of deposit issued by the financial institutions and uh, along with term deposit with term lending institutions. Okay, L2 over here. L1 and M3, right, plus all deposits. L2, L1 plus all term borrowing by financial institutions, certificate of deposit, and so, so on. LM3, LM3 was L2 plus public deposits and non banking financial companies, NBPS. What is the non banking insurance companies, mutual funds, other sources, whatever, non bank finance companies, all including. So now, uh, other including the, the latest version of the money supply is L3, that is L2 plus all short term, long term bank shape, post office, banks, other banks, along with non banking financial companies, NBFC. NBFC what? NBFC both are, um, uh, abhi abhi aajkal insurance, wala, mutual fund, wala, sara ke sara, ye non banking financial companies both are. Insurance, health, mutual funds, different, different market, capital market, exchange market, everything is include non bank financial companies. Okay, better. So, ye am bolte hai, different um, uh, measures of the supply of money. Ek baar repeat kar raha hu, ye bhoot hi important hai beta, ye question is mein aa jata hai. Define the money supply and what are the measures to measure the supply of money. So, these are the measures to M1, M2, M3, M4 and after that, in the recent 1988 onwards, 1998 onwards, we are using new liquidity aggregates or monetary aggregate that is NM0, NM1, NM2, NM3, L1, L2, L3. Okay, now, what is the present the role of banks in the monetary system? Suppose before going to discuss, just go for this manicure book, page number 
see this page number eight to seven. Chapter four, it's what are we are discussing the Abhita. Abhita come load kya kya discuss kiya? Ye ye. Money discuss kiya, functions of money discuss kiya. Uh, types of money discuss kiya, faith money. Government decrease, right? Commodity money discuss kiya, gold standard discuss kiya. Okay, better. Iske baad hum log discuss kiya, quantity of money kya? Supply of money discuss kiya, quantity of money, supply of money. ठीक है और क्वांटिटी ऑफ मनी इज मेजर्ड हाउ द क्वांटिटी मेजर ये डिस्कस किया एम वन एम टू एम थ्री दिस इज द केस स्टडी एक्चुअली मेजर ऑफ मनी हाउ यू कैन मेजर ओके बेटा सो अगला क्लास में ये क्वांटिटी थ्योरी ऑफ मनी डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है तो ये क्वांटिटी थ्योरी ऑफ मनी के डिस्कस करने से पहले हम ये कांसेप्ट हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे व्हाट इज द बैंकिंग सिस्टम एंड व्हाट इज द मॉनेटरी सिस्टम इन द इकॉनमी ओके आई थिंक दो तीन में पांच मिनट में हम लोग ये डिस्कस करेंगे इसके बाद क्वेश्चन आंसर्स हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे ठीक है बेटा सो वॉट इज द मनी मॉनिटरी सिस्टम वॉट मॉनिटरी सिस्टम इज मनी रिलेटेड सिस्टम राइट मनी सप्लाई मनी डिमांड हाउ इट इज राइट टेकिंग प्लेस इन द अकाउंट दैट इज द मॉनिटरी सिस्टम सो वॉट इट रोल रोल ऑफ द बैंक ये बैंक इज बैन रोल टू प्ले टू टू कैन मेंटेन द मनी सप्लाई राइट सो मनी सप्लाई इज हाईली सिंप्लीफाइड मैनर टू डिफाइन द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मनी एज द नंबर ऑफ डॉलर हेल्प बाई द पब्लिक वी एस द सेंट्रल बैंक कंट्रोल द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी वॉट इज द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी दट ऑल टू बी डिस्कस Money supply is equals to currency plus demand deposits. What is the currency? Currency held with the public. Demand deposit different different demand deposits. So that we can observe that CD measured currency to deposit ratio. CD means C what here M is equal to C plus D. C is currency. We are talking about currency. What is currency? Currency that is you can say that CD multiplied D. Here you can write it here. Okay, dear students, I highlight it. Yeah, you can see. This C what currency right? इसी क्या बोलते हैं हम सी डी मल्टीप्लेड सी मल्टीप्लेड डी ये क्या होता है सी डी मीन्स डिजाइड करेंसी टू डिपॉजिट रेशो हाउ मच करेंसी टू डिपॉजिट वट द रेशो ऑफ द डिपॉजिट रेशो द पब्लिक डिजाइड टू होल्ड करेंसी ओके इन प्रपोर्स ऑफ द डिपॉजिट एंड इन अकाउंटमी टोटल रिजर्व आर आर एक्सेस रिजर्व आर ई आर प्लस रिक्वायर्ड रिजर्व ओके आर इज रिक्वायर्ड रिजर्व रेशो आर 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 मीन्स रिक्वायर्ड रिजर्व रेशो ER means excess reserve ratio. Total reserves means whatever is excess reserves, whatever it is uh, required reserves. Total you can call total reserves. Okay, better. So RR means required reserve ratio, right? What is the RR? RR, I am look. Look, that is ED means desired excess reserve ratio. They are proportional to deposits. Okay. So RR is equal to small RR multiplied D, and that is the RR multiplied D, and ER is equal to ED D. D means deposits. RR means required reserve ratio, and uh, ER means ED means ER means excess reserve ratio, right? So since R is equal to RR plus ER, that means R is R is equal to RR plus ER, excess reserves and required reserves. It implies that uh, R is equal to small R D, ED multiplied D, so RR plus ED is equal to multiplied D. So this entire we call as monetary base. That is the high power money. This monetary base is also called as high power. What is the high power money? C plus R. This is you can call as high power money. So this, so how you can this high power money calculated that you can deposit multiplier. So deposit my high power money C plus R. C plus R means C D multiplied D. C is C D multiplied D plus R. R means required reserve ratio and R R and E R excess reserve ratio. So required reserve ratio you can say R R plus E D multiplied D. Correct the point. R means R R plus E D multiplied D. That is the required reserve ratio. So multiply D. So you simplify this equation. That is, you can get uh, D common multiply D common. So C D plus R R plus C D. So if you want to know the D equal coming to D, so one upon by C D R R E D multiply M B. So this is what multiply deposit multiply. So this implies change in deposit. That means change in the demand deposits will change in the monetary base. Right? That is known as complete deposit multiply. Deposit multiply what? Deposit multiply is change in the money supply to change in the And there the deposits to change in the deposit to change in the total money supply. That is even called deposit multiplier. How you can calculate the currency multiplier? This is one important. So this is the process to can calculate the currency multiplier. That is the C is equal to C D multiplied D. So C D multiplied D means so that is the amount of deposit C D plus R R plus C D. So multiplied M B. So multiplied M B is equal to C D plus C D upon by C D R R E D multiplied M B. So change in currency, delta C change, 
and delta m be automatically changed. That is known as complete currency multiplier. The change in the value of the currency to change in the money supply. Simple to say. Earlier, change in the demand deposit to change in the money supply, that is the deposit multiplier. Deposit to multiplier. Here, money multiplier. What is the money multiplier? Change in the currency to change in the level of money supply or monetary base. That you can call as currency multiplier. So, money multiplier, change in the money supply to change in the monetary base. That you can call as money supply, money multiplier. You can say. So, money multiplier, that is m is equal to c plus d. C already we know, 1 plus cd. And d, ed, rr, ed, already we know, multiplied mb. So, this implies change in money to change in the monetary base. That you can call it money multiplier. Okay. 1 plus CD upon by CD plus RRED known as complete money multiplier. Okay. So money supply equation. So money supply is equal to so this C plus D. C 1 plus CD D C D plus RRED multiplied MB. What is the money multiplier? Money multiplier is equal to bigger M is equal to small M multiplied M. So bigger M is nominal money stock and H is nominal reserve money and M is money multiplier. Got it? To change in the nominal money stock to change the real money supply. Money. So H is equal to CR. C what currency held by the general public or bank reserves, Lord money will be there. So H is equal to CR. So small M is equal to M by H. M what money supply? C plus D plus TD. H what high power money? High power money C plus R. So C plus D plus TD upon the C plus R. So C D D T D cancel. Okay. C D D T D upon by C means C plus R. R means demand for R base. So you can simplify. You can get the dividing numerator and denominator by dd 1 plus c plus t c plus r 1 plus t so this is what so this is where m is equal to money supply is equal to c plus dd plus td so dd demand deposit td time deposit r is the reserve ratio deposit ratio time deposit to demand deposit ratio and currency deposit ratio right so this is what we are discussing up to different types of multiplier concept money multiplier currency multiplier you can see entire the monetary system we are discussing okay so dear students, so now we have discussed all this concept, basic concept of money supply and uh, measures of supply, components of the supply and how you can measure the money multiplier and currency multiplier and so on. So. High power money. High power money detail you can discuss in the lesson chapter. Okay, better. So Abhi, Ajka class A. So tomorrow we'll discuss this quantity theory of money and continue of demand for money supply. Okay, so now I have the class. Now I can go, uh, I can uh, discuss with your QA. If you have any kind of QA, question and answers, so let you know to, 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 to discuss uh, your questions. Okay. I just uh, go through your question and answers so that you can easily understand. Okay. I hope you people are enjoy the class. If you have any doubt, please uh, uh, text the message here. Okay. QA, QA. Uh, okay. visible. network issue visible. Share okay? clear. Can you please post table banner and telegram? Okay, but I'm happy to share with you. I'm going to send a message to you. Okay, but I'm going to explain again what is the standard deferred payment. But the uh, standard deferred payment is that we have to record the purpose of the transaction. Suppose we have to pay the bill. We have to pay the bill. We have to pay the bill. We have to pay bill. We have to pay the bill. Suppose if you are the company or if you are an entrepreneur, you must have to keep the record. That is also some kind of, you know, save the money. Sometimes you can save the money, what transaction is taking place. You have to keep the some money on the record of future standard. Okay. So money has a role to play, record of your transaction. That is a way for the money you can say. Okay, better. Next, apna abhi tak, jitna abhi pada hai, ho jise uski PPT share karna. Okay, jitna material am lo share karta hai, better. Okay, next. Next question is, Soft copy, they do both. Soft copy, beta, share karta hoon, ye itna material, thik hai? PP, pahle chapter wala PPT hai, wo already share kiya hume. Or, dosra chapter hai, ye money wala, ye PPT mein, ye PDF mein based hoon, thik hai beta? Any doubt, other than this, if you have the concept, concept ke liye koi doubt hai, koi discuss karne to, discuss kar sakti. Any doubt? Thik hai beta? So, if you have any doubt, okay? In the general life, we see a lot of news in the news. In the everyday newspaper, we also check the money supply, supply demand, inflation, monetary policy, central government has to take some policies. 
सो so, मेरा जनरल क्वेश्चन है किसी के पास आंसर है बताओ हम लोग मनी के मनी कॉन्सेप्ट डिस्कस किया अभी तक ठीक है क्या मनी होता है क्या क्या फंक्शन होता है क्या मेजरमेंट होते हैं हम लोग डिस्कस किया लेकिन हम लोग अब अमीर डिस्कस किया है कि ठीक है पैंडमिक में गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी यूज किया कौन सा पॉलिसी यूज किया उसी स्थिति क्या हम की वॉट इज द बेसिक पॉलिसी यूज बाई द गवर्नमेंट एट द ड्यूरिंग पैंडमिक पीरियड दैट इज यू कैन सेट कोविड नाइन्टीन अकॉर्डिंग टू टू डेज क्लास ठीक है यू हैव इफ दैट सर सो डिस्कस करेंगे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉलिसीज मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी होता है एंड फिजिकल पॉलिसी भी होता है ठीक है विच पॉलिसी वी आर सपोज टू यूज एट द टाइम ऑफ हाइयर इन्फ्लेशन नोवेज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द डे डे टू डे लाइफ इन्फ्लेशन इज हाई इन्फ्लेशन इज हाई वट इज इन्फ्लेशन इन्फ्लेशन इज हाई इंक्रीजिंग लेवल ऑफ द प्राइज ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम क्यों होता है क्यों प्राइज इंक्रीज होता है वट इज द रीजन द फैक्टर द फैक्टर इज मनी सप्लाई मनी सप्लाई एंड डिमांड फॉर मनी सप्लाई इज मोर देन पीपल मोर परचेजिंग पीपल मोर परचेज सो दैन प्राइजेस विल इंक्रीज सो प्राइजेस विल इंक्रीज सो सो दैट विल लीड्स टू द इकोनॉमी सर्कुलेट इज मोर मनी इफ मोर सप्लाई ऑफ मनी यू कॉज द प्राइजेस इंक्रीज इन्फ्लेशन सो दैन वॉट द गवर्नमेंट यूज द गवर्नमेंट यूज द कंट्रोल द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी दैट इज द मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी सो मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी इज द पॉलिसी टू कंट्रोल द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी एंड वॉट इज द अदर पॉलिसी फिजिकल पॉलिसी फिजिकल पॉलिसी इज द पॉलिसी टू इंक्रीज द सप्लाई ऑफ मनी थ्रू एक्सपेंडिचर government has to give the subsidies to the public so like uh, in the covid 19 uh, crisis the government has to announce the stimulus packages to the public below poverty line population the direct transport payments so so that they can increase the, their income their purchasing power so the price will so not price the purchasing power will increase the demand for goods and the demand for goods and services the supply is also same so when the supply is increasing so that we can utilize our services so that we can get the some employment so this is the some monetary policy fiscal policy so so just you can understand day to day life also this concept that's why i'm discussing okay is there any questions yeah abhi tak koi questions aaya mm sir petrol price rise ho gaya so to so pandemic and inflation ho gaya theek hai beta ye bhi abhi bhi kal news mein dekha hoga aap petrol ki 7 rupees kam kar diya aur diesel ki 9 rupees to kam kar diya to so inflation to yahi petrol ki aur diesel ki prices kai baar badhta hai kai baar badhta hai kyunki ये पेट्रोल है क्रूड ऑयल है क्रूड ऑयल हम लोग एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट करते हैं अदर कंट्रीज से ठीक है बेटा उधर एक्सचेंज राइट गुड होता है एक्सचेंज रेवेन्यू एक्सचेंज टैक्स होता है एक्चुअली इफ यू आर लीव द मोर टैक्स एक्सचेंज गुड इज सो द पेट्रोल इंपोर्टिंग कॉस्ट इज इंक्रीजिंग वेन द पेट्रोल इंपोर्टिंग कॉस्ट इज इंक्रीजिंग देन द पेट्रोल प्राइस विल ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज सो नाउ एक्टर वॉट वॉज हैपन द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू टेक द पॉलिसी टू गिव द Uh, 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 exchange duty is reduced actually 200 crores. So that means the government has to bear that particular whatever it is the exchange duty tax. So that uh, the petrol was declining. Petrol declining that means you have to increase the demand for the petrol automatically. So our day to day life demand is automatically increasing because you are using that petrol whatever the price increasing or decreasing. But the government has to take the policy to to reduce the exchange duty to decrease the some petrol price. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is for today's class because it is related topic. So, and any other questions, we are student. Sir, uh, study material enough. Ha, beta. Study material enough. But, 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 वो सॉफ्ट कॉपी से भी अवेलेबल है बेटा ठीक है हाँ ठीक है थैंक यू आई थिंक टू डेज क्लास वॉज एन्जॉय मे बी इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट सो प्लीज ड्रॉप एन मैसेज थैंक यू अंडर आई होप यू एन्जॉय द क्लास कंचना जी यस सर प्लीज ओके थैंक यू सर या थैंक यू थैंक यू अंडर थैंक यू फॉर यूर आई होप यू एन्जॉय द क्लास थैंक यू